Excuse me, sir. Sir! What is it? Sir, Hammond gave us strict orders. We're not to be out after dark. I'm working. Sir, we do need to go. No, don't step on the tracks! Dr. Grant? Billy. How'd it go? If you have to ask. It's the same as always. There's no interest in guesswork anymore. People only want to know behavior. I know, but I'm working on it. Don't think I'm completely out of my mind, but I'm flying to New York tomorrow to see John Hammond. Seriously? He must have all the regional research from before the Jurassic Park incident. Who knows? Maybe it'll give us the boost we need. It's been a long time, Dr. Grant. Mr. Hammond. Research is going well, I heard. Well, ups and downs. To be honest, that's why I'm here. I'm studying raptors now, almost exclusively. I want to focus on behavior, but I can't really get that from fossils. I ruined you, didn't I? You must have some research for me to work with. From your scientists, I would think you're welcome to anything I have. God knows I owe you that much. There's not much left though, I'm afraid. It's funny you should mention raptors though. I may have a problem in a small village called Na'an on the coast of Costa Rica. The people have reported strange attacks. You think dinosaurs have gotten off the island? Well, not by themselves. I sent one of my best scientists, Dr. Levine, down there to assess the situation. The people of Na'an believe the cause of the attacks came aboard a fishing boat. One that had recently been near Isla Sorna. Did your man see what kind it was? Yes. It was a Velociraptor. <sighs> Dr. Levine had a closed circuit camera with him. He took a picture of his camp every 30 seconds and sent it back to me for monitoring purposes. This was at 7.02 a.m. two mornings ago. And this was 30 seconds later. I 
I lost radio contact, and the camera feed went dead. You know what this means, Grant. If word gets out the dinosaurs have gotten off that island, it will be destroyed. As you know, InGen is no longer my company, but I will not let these animals be killed. I've hired a team of hunters to travel to that town and destroy the raptor, but they won't know where to look. They need an expert to light their way. And you are the only Velociraptor expert I know of. Mr. Hammond, I... Dr. Grant, I'm done asking people to go places they don't want to go. It will, of course, be dangerous. But I think, deep down, you want to see these animals again. You just need to ask yourself, is it worth the risk? You're crazy, Alan. Does that mean you're not coming with me? No way. I almost died last time. Nothing's worth that. This might be my last chance to see them. I'd hate myself if I passed it up. Well, I wish you all the luck in the world. Come back soon. I know you will. So, you're the dinosaur expert. I suppose I am. Well, listen. I've been hunting my whole life. I don't need a scientist to tell me where to shoot, if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna ask you the one favor. Don't try it. He's more of an expert than you are. I tried giving your ego a rest and listen to the doctor's advice. I'm Thorn. I read your books. That's actually the reason I agreed to come out here. Just to see a dinosaur. That's the real reason I'm here. That makes two of us. This must be it.
are you doing, Blaine? That's how I hunt. You instill fear in your prey. Well, I hunt using the element of surprise, so keep quiet. Okay, we need to establish a base camp somewhere. The most secure of these houses. Well, we should listen to Dr. Expert. working. That feed is the only contact we have to Hammond, but I can't get it to work. Uh, give it a rest for now. We should be quiet anyways. So, what do we need to know about this creature? They're smart. In fact, I find it hard to believe there's just one. Raptors are always in pairs. But they don't want you to know that. You think they've been showing themselves one at a time on purpose? Oh yes. There's no such thing as a lone raptor. something out there, Doctor. Stay away from the windows. No one fires until we've marked both of their positions. Expert, I hunt in my own way. Do you want to be killed? These are unlike anything you've hunted before. They work together. If you fire on one, there's no telling what the second will do. If you haven't marked it, it could be anywhere, even right next to you. Now we need to start working together, because you know they will. Don't shoot. You see the other one? No! 
sein. I was starting to wonder if Hammond would ever send rescue. So you've been hiding out here this whole time? The village became dangerous. They returned every night for me. After our camp was attacked, me and another guy ran into the jungle. He fell behind. I heard him scream, but I couldn't turn around. I, I just kept running until I was sure I was alone. I, I tried to get back to the village, but they just kept coming back. So I stayed out here. Well, we have to get back. Who still has a gun? I've got mine. Is that it? That thing chewed through mine. Practically bit it clean in half. How is that possible? It is. I dropped mine when I ran. Same with me. Well, we can't stay here or any open. We have to run for it. Run for the town. It's the only way. All right, we run for it then. On the count of three? No. I see one. We'll wait for it to go to the jungle. As soon as it does, we go. one gun. We wait till morning. The Velociraptors are generally nocturnal. They'll probably stick to the jungle during the day. We're going to cover the windows and someone needs to stand guard. sleeping? I guess so. See anything yet? No. It's been quiet. So, this is your third time against these things. Why do you keep coming back? You know, I've asked myself the same question. This time, I can't blame anyone else for being here. I chose to come. I don't blame Hammond for invention, but Jurassic Park, it changed my profession. Before, it was opinions like mine that mattered. 
That's all anyone had. Now, it's about seeing them. I need this. Well, what sort of an expert would I be? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm not a hunter. But I needed to see them again. It's all I have left in my field. Well, the question is, are you really here because you wanted to see them again? Or because you wanted to stay the expert? This is unbelievable. We can't just wait for those things to come back tonight. Clearly these houses are not safe. Nowhere out here is safe. They will find us, wherever we are. What we've got to do is keep them distracted by something. They won't be easily distracted. Unless we use live bait. Oh, if you think I am standing out there with those things running around, I'll go. No, no, it's too risky. These things are smart. They're watching us. What? They're watching us. In the grass. us. No, they're not. If they were, we'd already be dead. They're watching us. They know not to attack us as a group. All right. No one goes anywhere alone. Ever. Blaine, try to get that video feed to Mr. Hammond working. We need contact out here. Everyone else, in the next house down. Work on making it secure. As secure as you can. Alright? Come on, let's move. I don't think it was set up right last time. Alright, thanks. Everyone else is in the next building over. some disturbing information. I believe my old rival, Lewis Dogson, is attempting to recreate the Jurassic Park project. Dogson? The Velociraptors you're dealing with, they didn't come by themselves. They were transported here to the mainland. They escaped from a nearby building, a sort of temporary holding pen. Well, we'll destroy the two before they're recaptured. Well, I hope it's that easy. But there's more. I believe that one of your members is a spy. 
One of the hunters I hired is working for Dog Zen, I'm sure of it. He'll be protecting the animals. Don't trust them. They're planning to betray you. Ah! I am sorry you came to this grant. I really am a great admirer of yours. I was hoping you could help me find them. You see, Dogson and his men have been searching for weeks. Where did you get a gun? Oh, I never dropped mine. Just hit it. You know, I'm sorry, Grant. I was never planning to hurt you. See, you have a respect for these animals the same as I do. And the same as Dogson does. Hammond didn't know how to care for these creatures. But Jurassic Park has been re-envisioned. Three people died the first time. What makes you think Dogson can do better? Well, it doesn't matter to you. You won't be around to see it. No! It's the middle of the night. He's alone and he's bleeding. Do you really think there's any chance in the world the raptors won't find him? He needs treatment, or medication at least. 
We can't call for help. He smashed all of our equipment. Hammond mentioned a compound nearby. Now, we've covered all the jungles here. It must be to the east. We could take the car. There must be emergency supplies there. Wait, wait. What makes you think they'll help us? No, no, no. It's an abandoned compound. Well, it's worth a try. It looks like the storm might break soon. And it should be dawn in about an hour. Let's sort of move on. Dogson must have brought more than just raptors off the island. Oh, this is just what we need. Well, not to worry. It's just a herbivore.
So, is human bait still a plan, or what? <sighs> I guess so. I'll stand out here near the door. You two can sit on the roofs above. No. I'll be the bait. Blaine needs you. Oh, yeah. We only have the one gun, though. You're not shooting. You'll be sitting on the opposite roof from me. What if this doesn't work? She'll be unarmed. I'll be fine. Just keep your eyes open, Dr. Grant.
Come on, Eric. Drop the gun. You can't go back. We have to run. Without the gun, we have no hope of winning this fight. The fight's over, Dr. Grant. We need to worry about our own survival. <sighs> then we head for the compound. Towards the Tyrannosaur? The Tyrannosaur is the least of our worries. What is it? It looks like a maintenance shed. It also seems to contain the circuit breakers for this fence. If we could get this fence back online, we'd be safe until rescue comes. So, do you know how to turn the power back on? Uh, it's probably just a blown fuse. It should be as simple as flipping a switch. All right, let's go.
Oh God. Grant, it's climbing! Dr. Grant? No, no, I'm fine. This Dell Tyrannus are locked away in the compound. Yes, my men are securing it as we speak. And I finally have proof of Bioscience crimes. Along with video footage of that hunter's attempted murder. Lewis Dogson is going to jail. That's great. And what about you? Did you find what you were looking for, Dr. Grant? Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> hmm. 
Are you ready to go home, Dr. Grant? Yeah, I'm ready.